Just a couple different ways to climb a rope. The most secure wrap, the rope would go through your legs and you'd wrap it around. Okay, so this is most secure because it gives you a ton of friction on your legs. And you can, you're always going to have your toes pointed up, right? But I do have to still kind of pull and rewrap. You guys can see that it's not a very high pull, right? It takes a lot of fiddling with, but it's really, really secure, okay? Because it's locked around my whole leg. So that's one way to climb a rope. The more efficient way is going to be us basically feeding the rope between our feet, okay? And all it would look like is the rope would sit on the outside of your foot, and then you're just going to feed it on top and step on top of that, okay? So when that starts, he would have that lean back, and he's going to feed the rope on top of his foot and stand on that to stand up. Then he's going to let go of the rope entirely with his feet and re-grip, okay? Here's the difference. Come on back down, Matt. Is as you do that, you want to think about bringing your feet as close to your hands as possible. So you guys just saw that Spanish wrap that I did, right? It's kind of short and choppy. This, though, if I can bring my feet up, stand up, two, and I'm at the top. This also acts as a break on the way down. So that is the pull that you would always want to do, right? That's the way that you guys should teach. Um, also, don't neglect this, because if your athlete does start to fail on a rope climb, grip-wise, they're scared to death, this could be saving grace where getting one more climb could make the difference between going or not going, podium or not podium, whatever. But learning how to do this. One of the best ways to kind of learn that is just to get a box and have your athlete sit on the box and just practice wrapping the rope or a bench and then seeing if they can stand on it. So I just have Matt sit on the bench here and I just have him feed the rope and say, all right, try to stand up, brother. If he can stand up, I know that that's where he needs to be. If he can't stand up, something's wrong, okay? Yep. But you got to have both toes pointed up. One foot is basically on the outside of the rope. The other feeds it up on top. And you just step on top of that foot, locking it in. It's really that easy. It just takes a little practice to find the most secure place.